let's get into the 04 Dodgers, all right? You both played in this team. It was a return to prominence for the Dodgers in a way. I mean, those those were the first Dodgers to win a playoff game since the 88 World Series winners. And now in 04, you come together, you came over to the deadline, Steve. Had you guys crossed paths much before becoming teammates? Uh, not really, not really, you know. And, and you know, the, the 04 Diamondbacks, they were rebuilding. So uh, I had asked for a trade. They had a first trade to go to Miami, I, and I had a veto right, so I vetoed that. And uh, they had a trade to go to San Francisco. And they said Marquise Grissom had, had agreed to move to right field. And I said that I can't do that to him. I respect him too much as a player, a person, uh, to ask him to, you know, a career center fielder to move over for me. So I said, I can't do that. And then right at the deadline, the Dodgers came up, and I found that one very interesting. And, and uh, I'd always wanted to play in L.A. I love big markets, and uh, it was just a perfect fit. Nice to have control of your destiny like that. And you joined a team in a pennant run, and uh, you both had memorable moments uh, that fall. Let's step into the video vault first and revisit the second to last day of the regular season NL West crown on the line in this final series against those hated giants. You're home at Chavez ravine bottom of the ninth down three, nothing. Sean, you leave off with a single set in the table. Yeah. So had to get going. Yeah. And you scored the first Dodgers run of the game after three walks. I mean, it's crazy. The pitching breakdown, uh, another run scored on an error, another on a single by Jason worth. And now Steve, you step up with the bases loaded one out, and this happens. Never gets old, uh, does it? No, it doesn't. And I remember uh, Wayne Franklin throwing warm-ups, did not throw a pitch near the plate for a strike, and there goes Sean running up there right there. Yeah, um, that's right. Uh, didn't throw a pitch near the plate, so I was like, I went to the plate, I was like, I might just be able to put the bat on my shoulders, first pitch right down the middle, and I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> so uh, then I was just ready for a fastball. He threw a high fastball. I was just trying to get a ball to the outfield and uh, got good wood on it. Grand slam, walk off, clinching the NL West for the Dodgers. Talk about endearing yourself to teammates, right? I mean, <laughs> and that inning was just insane. I remember sitting there because you know, I let off and then scored. And then this, I remember Jason Worse, that bat was unbelievable. He kept fouling pitches off. We were struggling that week to score runs. And I think we were down, I think we were down three nothing. So um, all of a sudden, to have a rally going and, you know, have the home crowd. And, and we were in trouble. If we had lost that game, then they had Jason Schmidt going the next day. Um, and if they would have beat us the next day, it would have been a, we had to play one game playoff. So it was a big, big moment. And then, you know, I knew when when Finns was up there, I knew he was going to get the run in. You know, I don't think anyone was up there expecting a first pitch grand slam. But, um, you know, we, we all had confidence in him because he came over and, you know, he was raking for us. And he was he was a huge acquisition down the stretch for us. And that last week, Sean, I don't know if you remember, we had... I think four games that we were down, I think two runs, three runs, and four runs going into the ninth inning. And we won all of them. I think two of them against the Rockies and then one against the Giants there. And it was a rare occasion. And we started doing that a lot in September. It was a rare occasion. The Dodgers fans did not leave after the seventh inning. They were staying there for the entire game because our games were being won late. And it was kind of a cool thing to see. Yeah, definitely. And then in the NLDS against the Cardinals, game three, you're down 2 nothing in the series on the brink of losing. Sadly, you ultimately did, but this is a big game to win. And, Sean, you lifted the Dodgers to their first playoff victory since 88 with two dingers. Both these moments coming at home, you can't understate how important that is, is the, 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 the vibe of the place, right? Yeah, I mean, L L.A., and yeah, everywhere in the postseason or you get to the po close to the postseason or whatever, it gets pretty – it's pretty loud, um, but I think aside from New York, maybe Boston, LA's LA's up there, and and it was rocking. And you know, it was we didn't want to. The Cardinals were the better team, and we knew though if we could just sneak a game in that we we'd have a shot. And so we won that game. Lima pitched a, had, had an incredible, you know, outing for us. Um, and you know, unfortunately, that was the only one we won. But um, it def definitely gave us a glimmer of hope. You saw on the clip there the governor. Schwarzenegger was in the crowd, <laughs> going nuts. <laughs> was there a lot of mingling with Arnold? No, but I think my I think my parents or wife or someone was on the elevator with them, so that was, they were they were excited about that. But I'm sure he walked through the clubhouse at some point. But we were we were pretty focused on the game, wanting to try to get back in that series. Isolate night with Scott Rogowski, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern.